So a while ago I made this video, and it was about this indicator, and some people on Reddit were like, hey, that's really cool. And I was like, oh yeah, thank you. I really like it. I worked hard on it. And they're like, have you thought about making something more practical than a 5000s indicator? And I was like, nah, it's really more just a toy or an experiment with levers, and I wasn't really planning on doing more with it. And they'd be like, it'd be a lot cooler if you did. I kind of hate that I made that joke. It's like a reference to a movie so old that Matthew McConaughey doesn't have a thoughtful, heartfelt story arc. But, you know, I had a few ideas that were kicking around together, and one thing led to another, and, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. What's an order of magnitude among friends? Am I right, people? Am I right? Okay, before we test this, let's talk about what's different than the last one. Uh, first of all, the last one was a 5 thousandths indicator. That's 0 .005 inches. Uh, this is a 5 tenths indicator. That's tenths of a thousandth. Uh, so that's 0 .005 inches. Uh, that's 0 .0127 millimeters for anybody across the pond. Uh, beyond that, I did dump the regular PLA and I printed all the structural components out of a carbon fiber reinforced PETG. Uh, as far as I know, it's about the baddest ass stuff you can print on a relatively stock Ender 3. I'll link that down in the description. Um, I did change. It's pretty much the same uh, lever arrangement. I did do a couple things to give it more range. Um, I took the, you know, I had problems with the dual spring in the previous video. I took that off, and it was nice to have it preloaded on the output side, but the thing is when you put a return spring on the output side, it ends up getting a big mechanical advantage over the input side, so that kind of became a problem. Uh, obviously, 3D printed better graduation and went with a linear input that was all turned up on the lathe. Um, you know, it's it seems to work. It seems to work all right. I, I really have not tested it yet either you know the last time I, I i had really checked it out before we started the vis video and uh this time we're just going to get into it together uh we're going to go set this up on the lathe i i'm going to set it up with another five tenths indicator a digital one and uh, we're going to try and see how accurate it is i actually don't have anything more accurate in the basement to test it against uh so that's what we're going to do uh, there is you know just just because you're probably going to notice you know it's not perfect there's there is a range of motion issue here where it doesn't return all the way and it also tends to stick on the high end um but uh you know i decided not to address those issues before i made the video i like to keep my handbook within reach while i'm filming because I, I i know you guys like to look at tables Okay, so we're set up to test this using the lathe as a fixture. Uh, I've got my regular 5 tenths digital uh, indicator here that we use as a DRO on the lathe against the cross slide, and then I've got my 3D printed uh, version here just against a tool, and uh, we'll go ahead and just see how it works. So first we'll get the 3D printed one preloaded. Okay, zero there. So each uh, each each graduation on here is five tenths. Uh, this thing is only accurate to five tenths. I, you know, if I get a thou out of this, I'm gonna be really happy. Uh, let's just see how it goes. We don't have anything great to compare it to. Part of the problem here. <laughs> oh my God! Did you see that? That's beautiful. All right. Here's the big check I haven't looked at yet. Let's see. Let's see what kind of backlash it has. So first, we got to get through the backlash and the lathe, of course. Here. Oof. So backlash, my friend, is an issue big time there. So we lost uh, a thou there in backlash, and you and you saw that jump on the spring. Part part of that was kind of my hand, but we definitely we lost a thou in backlash, regardless of what caused that jump. Yeah, so now our zero is, is off from center. Uh, I am not surprised at all that backlash is an issue. 
Um, the, the last one had no discernible backlash. This one, having 10 times the resolution, I, you know, I mean, there's backlash. It's 3D printed. So I didn't really think of anything clever to end this episode with, so we're just going to jump to some footage I stole from H-Bomber Guy. Here's a shot of a hand reaching for a gun that was dropped, and here's a shot of Scarlett Johansson reacting to that. <laughs> 